Hi, my name's John, and today I'm going to explain how I make my morning cup of coffee. Here are just a few of the things that I use on a daily basis. So the first thing, this is a paper coffee filter. Very simple, and it's in the same shape as the next item, which is my coffee dripper. So this is a Hario coffee dripper made of glass and plastic. And this allows the water to flow smoothly through the coffee. The next thing, and probably the most important, is the coffee beans. Got some nice medium roast coffee beans here and my coffee scoop, which gives me an exact amount of beans. Next up, I have my coffee grinder. So this is a nice small metal coffee grinder with a manual crank. So I've got a little handle here that I attach to the top and I turn it and it grinds up the coffee. So inside the coffee grinder, if you can see in there, well, no, you can't, but let's look at the bottom. So there's a burr here. So a burr is a type of blade system that grinds up coffee beans. So you have a similar kind of system in your pepper grinders. It takes something bigger and crushes it into something smaller. That's what grinding means. Okay, I have a nice little sleeve here that I can put the handle in when I'm storing this. And last, but certainly not least, I have a coffee mug. So I like to use the Starbucks mugs from Japan, where I'm living right now. I love the designs that they have. All right. First, put the paper filter into the dripper and wet the filter. This helps keep it in place. Then, I scoop out about 20 grams of beans and put them in my coffee grinder. I close up the coffee grinder and attach the handle. I turn the handle, which grinds the coffee beans. This takes a couple minutes or so. Once I'm finished grinding, I put the freshly ground beans, now called grounds, into the paper filter. And I put the dripper on the top of my mug as well. Then I start pouring water into the grounds, making sure to wet them all. After the grounds settle down a bit, I swirl the water around in the dripper keeping the grounds warm and packed at the bottom together. I'll then keep adding water to the sides of the filter, which helps keep the grounds together. This slows down the water and extends the time the coffee grounds are wet, which makes the coffee stronger. Once I've added all the water I'll need, I let the grounds sit and the water drain out. After the water finishes draining, I take the dripper off the mug and I'm done. I've got a delicious cup of coffee. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see next.